Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Mercedes AMG G63, known as the G Wagon. This is a status symbol, but it is more than that. It is a handcrafted, hand built SUV in Austria, and each vehicle is tested on a mountain that's specific for Mercedes Benz to make sure that every vehicle that leaves the factory is not just perfect, but it meets the requirements that you want when it comes to an off road SUV. Yes. This is a true off-road SUV. How many of these are going off-road? I'm gonna say less than 0.1%, maybe even less than that. But the truth is this vehicle is a statement. And if you're driving one of these around, typically I would need to have some big glasses. I got my hair pulled back. And uh, believe it or not, most of these vehicles are driven on the road to make a statement. Yeah, I've made it. And this vehicle proves it because this is not a low cost everyday SUV but it is very capable both on-road and off-road. And we're gonna go through this vehicle and we're gonna give you some of the highlights of it, what's new, because it's all changed for 2023 because they did not build these in 2022 because it didn't have any engines. Now they've got engines, now they're building them. And if you want one, you better get to one fast because they're gonna sell out. They do every year. And the resale value on these is very high. So you can order standard colors off a template or you can special order a color. This is South Sea Blue, which is off the manufacturer list of special colors. And that also means that you can order this any way you want. In this case, we've got the push bar, which is on this. You can take it off. You can have it on gigantic Mercedes-Benz logo. That is all the safety features behind it, which all come standard. And this is an AMG, so it's going to have big performance. We're going to let you see that in a little bit. And let me tell you, this thing is a freaking blast to drive it's got great power and inside you wouldn't believe how different it is from the outside the outside is boxy yes and some people say it looks like a high-end jeep but it is so much more than that it's boxy for a reason because it's got a gargantuan motor under there and there also needs that cargo space and that space for you inside the cabin here are some things that are new everything everything is new except for one item and that's the door handles it still has the iconic LED circular headlights, but there's a reason that door handle is staying. So why is this door handle so special? No, it doesn't have the ability to walk up to it like every other vehicle and the door unlocks and you can use hands free and all that. This is literally a remote to unlock it. And then this door handle is specific. Why? Because listen to it close. That mechanical sound is what people want. They want to know this vehicle is solid. It gives you that solid, connected feel. This is German engineering. And so that is what's really important about this vehicle. It's all four doors, including the trunk are still mechanical latches. Yes, you can use the remote to unlock it, but you have to push this button. That's probably the only negative I can think of this vehicle because you have to put whatever it is you have in your hands down. It's not like everything else where you can touch it or pull it out or all that. This is a real mechanical handle. Our test vehicle rides on 21 inch alloy wheels that have the matte black finish. These are 295, 40, 21s. You can get 22s, you can go 20s, depends which package you buy. In this case, Mercedes delivered us this vehicle fully loaded with a lot of cool options and a lot of blackout around the vehicle. And of course, my favorite, the AMG V8 bi-turbo logo to let you know you are driving a beast. And let me tell you, if you like performance, this is a really cool vehicle. And if you live in Buffalo, like I do, or any wintry area, this would be awesome. These were actually designed in the Middle East, and that's where they were originally designed to be used. And it got to be so popular that the globe has gone crazy for this G-Wagon. And of course, you see them all over Hollywood and New York City and Miami because they become a statement piece. It's all about prestige. So you're probably asking, how tall am I? I'm five foot eight. This has 13 inches of ground clearance. It is a very tall vehicle, but this vehicle is designed to be an off-road vehicle. And yes, it truly is capable with the best of the best, whether you're looking at a Range Rover or you're looking at a Jeep. This thing is easily as capable and in some cases even more capable. I do want to show you some other cool features. This running board here is necessary if you're shorter. I don't need it, but I do have to pull myself up on the steering wheel. The dual exhaust pipes come below the passenger door on both sides. The only issue I found is I was moving my granddaughter into the vehicle on her car seat. 
you kind of get your legs warm if the vehicle's running, so it's important to be aware of that, but it is tucked up underneath the running board so you won't burn yourself. Our South Sea Blue Metallic test vehicle is $6,500 for this paint color, and the curb weight is 5,442 pounds. It is a front engine, all-wheel drive, five-passenger, four-door truck, because this really, truly is a truck. It's an icon designed to be uncomplicated and uncompromised, literally has everything, including a tight turning radius, which I found easy to get into a garage or even a parking space or even doing a U-turn. The detail is just impressive all the way around. You can tell this is a hand-built vehicle. Our test vehicle has the optional AMG night package for $1,950, which includes obsidian black exterior accents, AMG gloss black brush guard, black upgraded guard, and the spare tire ring in obsidian black. There's an optional night package, which is $3,300, which has more black details. Another additional option package you can purchase is the AMG Trail Package for $3,050, which has off-road optimized AMG ride control suspension, as well as 20-inch wheels, so it's an inch smaller than our test vehicle, on five-spoke matte black wheels. The G-Wagon has a four-year, 50,000-mile warranty, and you can purchase a service program if you wish. Many people have mixed emotions when it comes to the G-Wagon. Some people love it because it's boxy, while others aren't that big a fan. I'm kind of mixed on that because I love what's inside this vehicle, so you gotta see that because it will blow you away. The exterior is not my favorite. I'm really not into the boxy lines, but you can see how boxy this is. What I did notice while I was shooting this is that this blue color literally matches the sky here today in Buffalo, perfectly clear. It's almost a sky blue, although they call it South Sea Blue. This black trim is part of that obsidian package. And then the G63 logo is here. AMG logo is here because Pretty much every single G63 is an AMG. All this is all new. Taking a look at the interior, you're gonna see why I'm so impressed. This AMG seating is super comfortable. It is a racing bucket that is Napa leather that is ventilated and it's all this diamond shaped. Really, really impressive. As far as adjustments, not a problem no matter how tall you are. It has massaging seats, heated seats, and of course, ventilated seats. Would you expect anything other than that, including memory seating for both driver and passenger side? All controls are on the door, as they are on any Mercedes. Heated steering wheel is standard. You will also note that these headrests are made to support your head, not just a headrest, really well designed. Going into the passenger seat, you've got room for three child safety seats. That's three latch systems, beautifully designed seating. They are heated, that is standard, and they do fold down 60-40. Behind each seat is a pocket, and in the door, besides your heating element, is your Burmeister audio system. Beautiful, real aluminum, real leather. There is no game here, including window lifts, that are a beautiful piece of aluminum and ventilation in the B pillar for the second row. Behind the center console is signature ventilation for adjustments for your three-stage climate control, additional charging just below. I know it looks like a smoker's package, but usually you get more outlets when it comes to German vehicles. Pulling down that center armrest, you have two cup holders and a pass-through for skis or any long items. Again, something pretty standard on German cars and those large adjustable headrests, which can go all the way down, so they're not in the way. So it looks like they're not in the way. Inside the G-Wagon are super high quality materials, real aluminum, real leather, carbon fiber if you order it. Everything is hand stitched and you can tell. 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and a 12.3 inch wide display. This is not the Mercedes-Benz user experience, so it's a little bit slower, but you can go right to the home screen. It is not a touch screen and you use the dial that's down below. This dial will get you to the different settings that you want, and there's also buttons on the back side of this controller. The navigation screen is easy to use and set up and control how you wish. As expected, don't forget there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It is not wireless. You also have different media settings. You can go into your radio sources, very easy to use, FM, AM, Sirius XM, TuneIn Radio. Of course, you connect your phone, you have additional options. Again, this is all part of the Mercedes package. Nothing unusual if you've owned a Mercedes before. Your media connection, your phone connection, your Mercedes-Benz Connect, 
This is the vehicle settings that goes into the heated seats, massaging seats, lots of options. If I went through every screen, we would be here for quite a while. I'm the lumbar girl. I do like good lumbar right there. Oh, and these seats are super comfortable. And that's one thing I do like. Uh, going further back, they use that little back button there. And you can go into other settings, including your driver assistance features, which are your safety features. Some you'll want to connect, some you won't want. Also includes the camera parking, active brake assist, attention, lane keeping assist. And there is a lot of other safety features, including blind spot, which you do need on a vehicle like this. You can also go into the dynamic select mode, pick your different modes to get your different data information. Now we all know consumption is not what this vehicle is about, but it's there if you want it. Your display and designs are part of what makes Mercedes-Benz really special and why people like it. You can pick your different designs. You can go into the sport, the classic, the progressive. You decide and then you can adjust your settings. Also, you can go over to the right, additional display brightness, and there's additional information here. Nothing unusual, but a lot of people like this because it just makes life a lot easier, especially if you're comfortable with the Mercedes-Benz setup. There are 64 different ambient lighting settings. Currently, it's on red, but you can adjust that to whatever you would like. Just go into the settings and make that change. Below that screen are those traditional Mercedes-Benz vents, the ability for your off-road modes for your locking differential because it's got a two-speed transfer case. Down below, you've got all of your climate controls, which are really normal. And then below this, you have your clock here, your IWC clock, which I like, and additional connections to your more important buttons. Real wood covering. This is part of that black package that is optional. It's called the AMG Night Package, $3,300. It also has the G Manufacturer Interior Package for $8,250. That includes Napa leather, microfiber headliner, active multicolor front seats with massage, rapid heating feature, which is really nice for front seats, ventilated, energizing comfort, and G Manufacturer Exclusive Plus Interior Appointments. There's so many options you can get on this, which includes Wi-Fi, rear seat entertainment, which would give you two 10 inch touch screens for the back for entertainment and as a USB and HDMI as well as other connectivity. Below this beautiful wood cover is a place to hide your key and dual cup holders. Further back, you have your controls. This will change your settings as well as what's on the steering wheel, change the different drive modes whether you want to go into Sport, Sport Plus, or just go back to the comfort, you'll immediately hear and feel the changes. And then of course you've got manual, your suspension settings, traction control. This is your main controller, volume, the louder exhaust. Which I prefer, the ability to turn the camera on and your low range mode. All of that is right here. Again, real aluminum, real leather, lots of really nice details. The center glove box, press the button, it splits like every Mercedes vehicle and additional storage and charge ports. So this is where the fun begins. Mercedes-Benz steering wheel, pretty standard. Your controls over here are for your phone. This is for the main screen. When you touch that little square, it turns on the dash for what you need. Hit the home, goes right to the home button and you can then adjust to whatever information you would like. Nice little split screen right there. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control. What you also have is this button. When you press home, you see that side lights up. You can then switch from the left to the right and just slide up and down to the information that you would like. It is there. I currently have it in the sport setting for the gauges. You want to go to the right, same thing. Those little dots give, tell you there's additional information. You can put what you'd like there. All that is super easy to use. You can also change information in the center by changing the design of your gauges. Just below this, you have your manual settings and your suspension settings, which will adjust. And I press that button. You can see it's changing the information here. Sport. Sport Plus, Comfort, Sport, and then you can go into the manual modes also. On the right side below your audio controls is a dial, and you can turn that to Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and the exhaust changes as well as the suspension. It also changes 
It also changes what's on the dash. Real paddle shifters and your shift lever is right here as it is on all Mercedes. The left side of the steering wheel has your shift down as well as your wiper blades. This Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 has a handcrafted 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine with a 9-speed automatic transmission. 577 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque. It has a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds. The Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 is a hand-built engine and signed by its own craftsman, which gives it an instant little bit of panache. There are different drive modes, which include Sport and Sport Plus. Fuel economy is 14 miles to the gallon combined, and yeah, it does run on premium unleaded fuel, but it is an AMG and it is super impressive, and it has a 7,000 pound towing capacity. First thing you're gonna notice when it comes to visibility is you're in a very high seating position. The backup camera is crystal clear and the around view camera is excellent. There is no touch screen, like I said before. There's your backup, you just turn the dial or you can do it directly behind you, which is nice so the spare tire is not blocking your vision. That's a down view for you and it just stitches together different camera shots that you may need. Again, all of this is right there like that one so I can see what's going on as I back out of the driveway here but the high seating position really makes it easy to drive you've got your side mirrors your rear view mirror all of that is great it is not a digital camera it's not needed to be honest with you 0 to 64.5 seconds listen to this exhaust Woo! nice Transfer the weight is instantaneous. You can feel the performance just throwing the car back. Really, really impressive. I'm not the biggest fan of this lane change departure because it shoves you back in the lane. So I'm going to shut that off. You just hold the button to deactivate it. Some of these safety features are there because people need it. I find them annoying. Fuel economy isn't that great but who really cares? If you have a vehicle like this, it's a status symbol. It tells people, I don't care what the price of gasoline is. You kind of laugh, you need a credit card with a big credit line to buy this car to begin with. So I guess fuel prices really aren't as much of a factor, but you can buy these used also. They're really hard to find used. They sell super quick off the lot. Any Mercedes dealer will tell you that. And anyone that has one usually is someone asking, hey, when are you gonna sell that? Because it is a really cool statement piece. What I like about this vehicle is the high seating position, the aggressive, super tight handling. Uh, it's a multi-link suspension, two-speed transfer case, AMG handling. So that, top of the line, amazing. You're gonna take this thing off-road, which we have done at some of the Mercedes-Benz events. I will tell you, these vehicles really do handle impressively. If you're thinking Jeep, Bronco Raptor, they're all really great. You're not getting into any of those three vehicles and saying, Eh, these vehicles all perform. Range Rover also is a fabulous, what I call mountain goat. All the Land Rover Range Rover products perform off-road, whether you're rock climbing, believe it or not, people do it in expensive cars like this. How many really are? Let's be honest, less than 1%. Now, typically you'll see these vehicles at grocery store lots and people that drive them. I know you've got your whole little thought process of who is the driver on this. And that's okay, you can think that, but the truth is it's a real mix of people. Uh, they're all over the world. They're in super high demand because they are hand-built. And that's not just the engine, which has the signature of the guy who built the motor, but also the body. Everything is hand-built, hand-stitched. And you can tell when you get in this vehicle, you're not getting into a vehicle that is anything less than top of the line, super premium. But Mercedes has been doing it that way for years. And where they really are super strong is in their premium luxury and quality. As a daily driver, this vehicle fits really nicely into parking spots, easy into garages. And those are the kind of things that really make a difference if you own a vehicle like this. It fits into a normal garage, you can close the door, it's small and compact enough that that's not an issue. If you're not used to the super high seating position, you get used to it pretty quick. It's nice to be able to look down and see what's going on. Some people don't like the super high seating position, but if you're a big person or you're a very tall person, you're gonna like this vehicle. 
we get into the curves up here and you can really get a feel for how this vehicle sticks to the road minimal amount of body roll because of that amg suspension but just instant power the power curve starts at 1300 rpm this vehicle just goes it wants to run it's like a big dog on a leash you want to just put your foot in it and drive it to the max every time you're behind the wheel let's take a look at some of the cargo space we'll talk about the prices and what i like and didn't like about this vehicle when it comes to cargo space it's a little different on a g-wagon much like that of a bronco raptor which i own and is kind of a direct competitor just a different motor The door opens this way, which makes it easier for you if you're on a sidewalk to get things out, depending upon which side of the road you park on. You've got 38.1 cubic feet of storage back here, nice and flat, big tall area for putting large items. Again, partly the reason for the design of this. Seats fold down 60, 40, and then you're at 68, almost 69 cubic feet of storage. It's a heck of a lot for a vehicle this size, because overall it's not a huge vehicle, but the way it's laid out in design, makes a lot of common sense. Like I said, there's a lot of neat things inside this vehicle, including the details of the real wood on the handle, the real leather in the door. Yeah, it's real leather, not manufactured as synthetic leather. Real wood on the handle, as well as real stitched leather here and high quality carpet. The 2023 Mercedes AMG G63, or known as the G-Wagon, starts at $180,000 but you're gonna want some of the options and they add up super quick. Our test vehicle came in at $202,500 plus a little more than that. But there was so much this vehicle and there were some pros and cons. On the pros side, excellent motor, handcrafted large V8 engine that performs both on-road and off-road. It has off-road prowess that would impress anyone. And if you wanna do it in style, this vehicle has style, it has sophistication, it has everything you think you would need when it comes to a vehicle that makes a huge statement, yeah, I've arrived. Now on the negative side, of course, it's the cost. Starting at 180 and start adding in all those extras, it does get expensive. The exterior is not really my cup of tea, but I understand how people like this boxy look because what you get on the inside is super impressive. Also, I wish I had a Mercedes-Benz user experience because what's in here now is the older styling and that to me is a little bit slow on the processor and it would be nice if you could use the remote to unlock the door or open the door so it'd be more of a remote that actually unlocked the door rather than having to push that button in is that important no that last little item is sort of a personal thing for me i really like the mechanical locking mechanism which is why mercedes left it in both on the hatch as well as on the doors but overall this vehicle is super impressive there are so many competitors in this category from one end, it's a true off-road vehicle, like a Jeep Renegade or a Bronco Raptor. And on the other end, you get premium vehicles like the Land Rover Range Rover Sport and other vehicles. There's so many, the Rivian R1T if you wanna go electric. There's a lot of competitors. Once you open up to that $200,000 range, there is a ton of choices. And so it's really important that if you decide this is the vehicle for you, order it, wait for it. You'll be happy. I have a very good friend who ordered one, lucky enough to get one early in 23. He is totally in love with it. He ordered it all black. If you order the all black out, it really makes a huge statement. And it does give you a high riding position, so a lot of people do like that about this vehicle. We have reviewed all the competitors. The link is down below, plus links to those reviews so that you can get all your information in one place. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. I think this is a really cool vehicle. Also, if you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, as well as the website, the podcast, the social media, and the book. We appreciate your support. Make sure to subscribe, like this video. We appreciate it, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.